Each year, elected officials and representatives from each of Maryland's 23 counties gather in Ocean City for the Maryland Association of Counties Summer Conference. That convention just wrapped up, and Susan Kennedy talked with Council Member Phil Andrews about the hot button issues that were in the spotlight. Ideas and innovations. That was the theme for this year's MAKO convention, where more than 2,000 leaders gathered to brainstorm on the most important issues facing local government. Councilmember Phil Andrews was one of the representatives from Montgomery County. He told us, per usual, school dollars was at the top of the agenda. Always a big issue because we're seeing continued growth in the school enrollment population of around 2,500 or more students a year, and that's projected to go on for a number of years. So we're over 154,000 students now. It's going to climb close to 160 in the next couple of years, uh, and that puts pressure on a school construction budget. So school construction funding uh, is something that uh, we need to uh, keep on the front burner because Montgomery County has regularly gotten a smaller share than it should, only about 11 or 12 percent of the state pie for school construction when we're, we've got 17 percent of the 18 percent of the students. Another hot topic, the heroin epidemic and the overprescription of opiates. Andrew says counties across the state are struggling with this issue and trying to find ways to put a stop to this destructive trend. We're talking about having much better education of the public regarding opioid abuse and also working to stop uh, doctors who are regularly uh, overprescribing opiates, uh, which is uh, a significant problem. Convention attendees had the opportunity to hear from both gubernatorial candidates. Andrew says it's important to understand where both candidates stand on the issues, especially school funding. Well, this is a gubernatorial election year, so this is the time to put the pressure on the gubernatorial candidates to say, will you follow through? Will you commit to making sure that Montgomery County is treated fairly? That's what we need to focus on uh, in the next three months. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.